Question number one. Portable luminaires and work lights shall be equipped with flexible cords, composition or metal sheath porcelain sockets, and substantial guards. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Question number two. Stage cables for stage set lighting shall be protected by means of overcurrent devices set at not more than blank percent of the ampacity. A. 125%. B. 150%. C. 200%. D. 400%. Answer. D. 400%. Question number 3. Frames of DC circuit breakers, installed on switchboards shall be required to be connected to an equipment grounding conductor. A. True. B. False. Answer. B. False. Question number 4. A type of projector using 35 or 70 mm film, that has a minimum width of 35 mm, and has on each edge 212 perforations per meter, or a type using carbon arc, xenon, or other light source equipment, that develops hazardous gases, dust, or radiation. A. Professional projector. B. Non-professional projector. C. Motion picture projector. D. Motion projector. Answer. A. Professional projector. Question number 5. Each motion picture projector, floodlight, spotlight, or similar equipment, shall have clear working space, not less than blank millimeter wide on each side, and at the rear thereof. A. 450 millimeters. B. 500 millimeters. C. 750 millimeters. D. 1000 millimeters. Answer. C. 750 millimeters. Question number 6. Conductors supplying outlets for arc and xenon projectors of the professional type shall not be smaller than blank and shall have an opacity not less than the projector current rating. A. 8.0 millimeter square. B. 10 millimeter square. C. 12 millimeter square. D. 14 millimeter square. Answer. A. 8.0 millimeter square. Question number 7. Any building that is of closed construction and is made or assembled in manufacturing facilities on or off the building site for installation or for assembly and installation on the building site other than manufactured homes, mobile homes, park trailers, or recreational vehicles. A. Building component. B. Building system. C. Manufactured building. D. Closed construction. Answer. C. Manufacture building. Question number 8. In closed construction, cables shall be permitted to be secured only at cabinets, boxes, or fittings where blank or smaller conductors are used and protection against physical damage is provided. A. 5.5 mm square. B. 8.0 mm square. C. 10 mm square. D. 12 mm square. Answer, A. 5.5 mm square. Question number 9. An electrical supply point, from which service drops, service conductors, feeders, or branch circuits to buildings, or structures utilized under single management are supplied. A. Distribution system. B. Distribution point. C. Distribution supply. D. Power supply. Answer, B. Distribution point. Question number 10. A disconnecting means installed at the distribution point, for the purposes of isolation, system maintenance, emergency disconnection, or connection of optional standby systems. A. Isolating device. B. Isolation device. C. Site isolating device. D. Site isolating breaker. Answer, C. Site isolating device. 
Question number 11. Aluminum and magnetic ferrous materials may corrode in agricultural environments. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Question number 12. Luminaires exposed to water from condensation, building cleansing water, or solution shall be listed for use in wet locations. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Question number 13. The site isolating device shall simultaneously disconnect all grounded service conductors from the premises wiring. A. True. B. False. Answer. B. False. Question number 14. Equipotential planes shall be installed in confinement areas with concrete floors where metallic equipment is located that may become energized and is accessible to livestock. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Question number 15. An appliance that is fastened or otherwise secured at a specific location. A. Portable appliance. B. Fixed appliance. C. Secured appliance. D. Movable appliance. Answer. B. Fixed appliance. Question number 16. An area containing or designed to contain a laundry tray clothes washer, or a clothes dryer. A. Washing area. B. Laundry room. C. Laundry area. D. Washing room. Answer. C. Laundry area. Question number 17. The power supply to the mobile home shall be a feeder assembly consisting of not more than one listed blank ampere mobile home, power supply cord or permanently installed feeder. A. 40 ampere. B. 50 ampere. C. 60 ampere. D. 70 ampere. Answer. B. 50 ampere. Question number 18. If the mobile home has a power supply cord, it shall be permanently attached to the panel board or to a blank, permanently connected to the panel board, with a free end terminating in an attachment plug cap. A. Switch box. B. Junction box. C. Outlet. D. Connection box. Answer. B. Junction box. Question number 19. The point of entrance of the feeder assembly to the mobile home shall be in the exterior wall, floor, or blank. A. Door. B. Ceiling. C. Roof. D. Window. Answer. C. Roof. Question number 20. A device that changes electrical energy from one form to another as from alternating current to direct current. A. Inverter. B. Rectifier. C. Converter. D. Adapter. Answer. C. Converter. Question number 21. A vehicular type unit, primarily designed as temporary living quarters for recreational, camping, or travel use, which either has its own motive power, or is mounted on or drawn by another vehicle. A. Mobile vehicle. B. Recreational van. C. Travel van. D. Recreational vehicle. Answer. D. Recreational vehicle. Question number 22. A unit that is built on a single chassis mounted on wheels and has a gross trailer area not exceeding 37 meters square in the setup mode. A. Park trailer. B. Recreational van. C. Travel van. D. Recreational vehicle. Answer. A. Park trailer. Question number 23. The main overcurrent protective device that feeds the floating structure shall have ground fault protection not exceeding blank. A. 1 ampere. B. 
0.2 ampere. C. 100 milliampere. D. 500 milliampere. Answer, C. 100 milliampere. Question number 24. Where the floating building has multiple occupancy, each occupant shall be permitted to be supplied by a single set of feeder conductors, extended from the occupant service equipment to the occupant's panel board. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Question number 25. An enclosed assembly that can include equipment such as receptacles, circuit breakers, fused switches, fuses, a watt hour meter, panel boards, and monitoring means approved for marine use. A. Marine outlet. B. Power outlet. C. Marine power outlet. D. Marine panel board. Answer, C. Marine power outlet. Question number 26. Yard and pier distribution systems shall not exceed 600 volts phase to phase. A. True. B. False. Answer, B. False. Question number 27. Temporary wiring methods shall be acceptable only if approved, based on the conditions of use and any special requirements, of the temporary installation. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Question number 28. Temporary electric power and lighting installations shall be permitted for a period not to exceed blank days for holiday decorative lighting and similar purposes. A. 45 days. B. 60 days. C. 90 days. D. 120 days. Answer, C. 90 days. Question number 29. Decorative lighting, used for holiday lighting and similar purposes, shall be listed and shall not be labeled on the product. A. True. B. False. Answer. B. False. Question number 30. Neon tubing, that is itself the sign or outline lighting, and is not attached to an enclosure or sign body. A. Skeleton tubing. B. Neon tubing. C. Outline lighting. D. Sign tubing. Answer. A. Skeleton tubing. Question number 31. Branch circuits that supply neon tubing installations shall not be rated in excess of blank amperes. A. 20 amperes. B. 30 amperes. C. 40 amperes. D. 50 amperes. Answer. B. 30 amperes. Question number 32. The disconnecting means shall be within sight of the sign or outline lighting system that it controls. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Question number 33. Remote metal parts of a section sign or outline lighting system only supplied by a remote blank power supply shall not be required to be bonded to an equipment grounding conductor. A. Class 1. B. Class 2. C. Class A. D. Class B. Answer. B. Class 2. Question number 34. Ballast shall be thermally protected. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Question number 35. A system containing component parts that are assembled in the process of manufacture and cannot be inspected at the building site without damage or destruction to the assembly and used for the connection of luminaires, utilization equipment, continuous plug and type busways, and other devices. A. Manufactured system. B. Manufactured wiring system. C. 
Manufactured Distribution System, D. Manufactured Electrical System. Answer, B. Manufactured Wiring System. Question number 36. An individual office furnishing, or groups of interconnected individual office furnishings, shall not contain more than blank, 15 ampere, 125 volt and or 250 volts receptacles. A. 10 receptacles, B. 11 receptacles. C. 12 receptacles, D. 13 receptacles. Answer, D. 13 receptacles. Question number 37. Each crane, monorail, or hoist, shall be provided with a visible nameplate, marked with the manufacturer's name, rating in volts, frequency, blank, and circuit amperes as calculated. A. Number of phases, B. Speed. C. Temperature, D. Date manufacture. Answer, A. Number of phases. Question number 38. Where a crane or hoist is operated by more than one motor, a blank conductor of proper ampacity shall be permitted. A. Common conductor, B. Common return conductor. C. Return conductor, D. Flexible conductor. Answer, B. Common return conductor. Question number 39. All sections of contact conductors shall be mechanically joined to provide a continuous electrical connection. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Question number 40. Contact conductors shall not be used as feeders for any equipment other than the crane or hoist that they are primarily designed to serve. A. True. B. False. Answer, A. True. Question number 41. Hoists and monorail hoists and their trolleys that are not used as part of an overhead traveling crane shall not require individual motor overload protection, provided the largest motor does not exceed blank, and all motors are under manual control of the operator. A. 5 horsepower. B. 7 and 1 half horsepower. C. 8 horsepower. D. 10 horsepower. Answer. B. 7 and 1 half horsepower. Question number 42. An enclosed control space, outside the hoistway, intended for full bodily entry, that contains the elevator motor controller. A. Control room. B. Control space. C. Enclosed space. D. Machine room. Answer. A. Control room. Question number 43. The electrical device for that part of the control system that governs the acceleration, speed, retardation, and stopping of the moving member. A. Motor controller. B. Operation controller. C. Control system. D. Motion controller. Answer. D. Motion controller. Question number 44. The car switch, push buttons, key or toggle switch, or other devices used to activate the operation controller. A. Operating device. B. Operating switch. C. Controller, D. Motion controller. Answer, A. Operating device. Question number 45. Electrical equipment is not required to be examined, adjusted, serviced, or maintained while energized. A. True, B. False. Answer, A. True. Question number 46. Traveling cables, used as flexible connections, between the elevator or dumbwaiter car or counterweight, and the raceway shall be of the types of elevator cable, listed in Table 4.0.1.4 or other approved types. A. 
True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Question number 47. A sump pump or oil recovery pump located in the pit shall be permitted to be cord connected. A. True. B. False. Answer. A. True. Question number 48. Flexible metal conduit, liquid tight flexible metal conduit, or liquid tight flexible non metallic conduit of 10 mm raceway size or larger, not exceeding blank in length, shall be permitted on cars, where so located as to be free from oil, and if securely fastened in place. A. 1,500 mm. B. 1,700 mm. C. 1,800 mm. D. 2,000 mm. Answer, C. 1,800 mm. Question number 49. At least one 125 volt or 250 volt, single phase, 15 or 20 ampere duplex receptacle shall be provided in the hoistway pit. A. True. B. False. Answer, A. True. Question number 50. Traveling cables shall be suspended at the car and hoistways ends, or counterweight and where applicable, so as to reduce the strain on the individual copper conductors to a maximum. A. True. B. False. Answer. B. False.